Do you have a criminal case filed against you? And you have an attorney? Have you spoken to your attorney? Do you have any communication over the phone or in the office? Do you know what's going on with your case? Do you know what your offer is? Do you know what your maximum punishment is? Well, if you don't, there's a problem because there's a lack of communication and there's certain questions and actions you should be taking anytime you have a criminal case filed against you. I'm criminal defense attorney Jonathan Mendoza and for over 10 years I have helped people in their criminal defense matters. If you have a case against you and you have an attorney, there are certain mandatory questions that you should be asking your attorney. Number one, can I get a copy of my discovery? What is that? Police reports. Find out what the allegations are against you, what the witnesses stated. That way you can look at it and you can then help your attorney to be able to fight it. No, that's wrong. That did not happen. And I have other witnesses to show that. Asking, what is the maximum punishment? What am I facing here? Am I facing six months in county jail? Or am I facing years in prison? What is my offer? What is the offer? What is the district attorney offering to settle this case? Again, it doesn't mean you gotta accept it, but you need to know what's going on. Do you have an investigator? Do we need an investigator? I have witnesses that need to be interviewed. So let's get the ball rolling and get an investigator um, to work with us. Is there a need for experts? If you have, a, for example, a DUI, do we need to get a, a forensic toxicologist? These are questions that need to be asked to your attorney because you need to be fully engaged and informed as to what's going on. At the very minimum, you should be having conversations either through an office appointment or through a phone conference before court. And the idea that you're only having discussions in court for a few minutes is a problem. More often than not, I have people come to my office asking for a second opinion. Should I take this offer? And my first question is, well, what does your attorney say? Have you read the police report? No, I haven't. When's the last time you spoke to an attorney? Well, in court. That's an issue for the attorney. The, the, there's a problem with communication that's not your fault. The attorney should be reaching out to you and should help you be fully engaged. But if you have made those efforts, if you ask these questions and the attorney is not responding to you, or you just don't feel like you're fully being represented, then you should really consider hiring somebody else. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. It's very important that you are fully engaged in your case because ultimately you're the one that suffers the consequences if there are mistakes made or if you make an uninformed decision. Any questions, let me know.